been a happy new year for the Blues so far, unbeaten in seven. Um, what's been the difference the past few weeks? Well, they've scored goals to be fair. I think that's the main difference. They, they've always been high level consistency really. They just haven't had a, a finishing, finishing touch really. And now they're scoring goals and it makes a massive difference. You know, if you're going to get up the league you need to score goals. And at the moment they're scoring goals and everybody's really happy. You've been uh, impressed with the new recruits in January? Yeah, I think they're fresh in the squad, but I think it's made it better for the fans. There's a bit of new interest in the fans, new fresh faces. PNR come back's a good one. Uh, but I, I do like the Greek leather prompt because he's a grafter and he puts his foot in. Uh, if his work rate can run up on the TV, that'll be great because you have two young kids who, who, who try it every week. And I think he's been quite successful at the moment. It'd be nice to take it into the FA Cup. So, you know, Sunderland in the next round, uh, and possible meeting with the Reds at some stage. Are you getting that Wembley feeling for the Blues? I hope so. I mean, I looked at some and I thought, yeah, they're, they're not bad, but they're not as good as Everton. So, uh, we should be able to beat them. Then looked at Liverpool, again, they're beatable. So, there's no reason why we can't go and beat them. I look at all the teams in the competition on the right day, right set of circumstances, there's no reason why you can't win the FA Cup. And I do, I do think sometimes we're a bit negative in sort of the outlook we have because there's no money and the grounds are up in the air and everything's. But I think this, it could be a really good way out. It, it'd be nice for the players and nice for the manager to mark his 10 years in charge with it. It's still work. But to be fair, if hard work's anything to go by, then he deserves every bit he gets.